Welcome, I'm Dragon. Today I decided to try and make a 3D printable game with Blender. To explain why I'm making a game in the first place, we need a little bit of a backstory. So I was at Dinosaur National Monument Visitor Center, and to my surprise I saw a balancing game. Basically the point of the game is to see how many mini dino figures you could stack on the wobbly base. When I saw this game, I decided it would be kind of cool to see a 3D printed one. So here we are now, and I have a game to make. While I was making the game, I also decided to make another one that was very different that I could actually list on Etsy, which I will be showing you after I show you the dinosaur game. With it actually printed, I decided to see how long it would take to stack all of the mini dinos. Oh, and just in case you're wondering, yes, I am cheating by using two hands. And after a whole bunch of failed attempts, I got this, a whole bunch of dinos stacked on top of each other. If you're wondering how long it took, it took 25 minutes. If you have a 3D printer and want to print this dino balance game, it will be over on Prusa printers. Funny enough, I had already made the game when I found out Prusa is actually having a contest about tabletop games, so I'll include this in the contest. But now, I'm going to make another balancing game that I thought of when making the Dino Balance game. Let's go! Welcome back. As you can see, I made this balancing game using Wildlife, which is why I decided to call this one Wildlife Wobble. For this game, I was originally planning on a half sphere for the base, but this really didn't work out, so I changed it to be like the dino balance base, other than it looks like an owl and is a little bit longer to help it stay upright with the little wings. Then I decided to also make 10 more animals and add to the original 20. But I chose 20 of the 30 animals to keep as a standard pack and the other 10 as an extension pack. With that, I've only printed the standard 20, but let's see how it works. There 
we have it, I actually managed to stack all 20 animals in the standard pack. But of course, that was after 45 minutes and a bunch of failed attempts. After I stacked all the animals, I was able to get someone else to play the two-player version of Wildlife Wobble. And after playing this, which took around 20 minutes, I actually thought this was better than the one-player. That is, of course, up to opinion though. And other than that, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want a Wildlife Wobble for yourself, there will be a link in the description which will also have the rules to the game. And if you do purchase one, thanks for the support, and I hope you enjoy the game. Other than that, bye!